Okay, testing, testing, one, two, one, two. Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back. I hope you guys, as always, are having the best day ever. Before I get started on this video, guys, if you are new here, please subscribe if you haven't already done that. We're on the road to 46,000 subscribers, and I would like you to join me on this journey. So hit subscribe right now and join the fam. And also, guys, go follow me on all my social media links are in the description. I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even Snapchat, so go follow me on all of those. And once again, guys, I am coming back at you guys with another creepy video, and today we're officially on episode 30 of Paranormal America, traveling the 50 states of the United States, heading west to east, and looking at all the crazy stuff that's happened in each state along the way, which currently brings us to Kentucky. Woo! Yee doggies, it's hot in here. There really is hot, I'm not even kidding you guys. Jeez Louise. Huh. So today we are talking about one of the most haunted places in the United States, and that is the Waverly Hills Sanatorium. But before we get started, guys, we have to jump right over to, say it with me, guys, Paranormal America. <laughs> Welcome to Paranormal America. I hope y'all are sitting comfortably. So today we are talking about the Waverly Hills Sanatorium, which is located in Louisville, Kentucky. In the 1800s and the early 1900s, America was ravaged with a deadly, uncurable, highly contagious disease. This disease was known to people as the White Death otherwise known as tuberculosis. This disease was killing entire families, and even sometimes it was killing entire towns. In the year 1900, Louisville, Kentucky had one of the highest rates of tuberculosis deaths in the whole of America. In this sanatorium, people lived for 15 years, maybe 20 years, maybe more, until eventually dying a horrible, horrible death. It is said that if you ended up at this place, you're probably never going to come out. Now, even during the lives of the people who were victims at this facility, they would experience horrible, horrible, the worst horrific surgeries you can imagine, such as removal of the ribs. Now, the reason they did this was because they believed if they removed the ribs of these people, it would give the doctors access to deflate these people's lungs so that they believed it would cure the disease faster. In the year 1982, this facility closed down permanently to be never reopened. But even still, all these years later, people believe the souls and spirits of the unfortunate are still lurking the hallways today. Not only that, but it is also believed to have some extremely sinister energies also residing there. People who work and slash work there, and even visitors, have reported hearing the sounds of many feet walking around. The sounds of extremely disturbing, breathy coughing, such as that of a TB victim. Now, apparently two nurses actually committed suicide here. Apparently one of them hung herself and the other one jumped from the roof. Many children also died here and people have reported seeing children, hearing children, and even believe that the children are toying with them. People have also heard disembodied voices, disembodied moaning, disembodied crying, and it is just truly a sad, sad place to be. But on the more upper floors in this building, there is believed to be something so much more sinister. There is believed to be something called a doppelganger, which is, I guess, a type of demon that manifests itself as a complete double of you. It is said that if you see yourself at this sanatorium, you are doomed to die. Now, just to make this even creepier, there's something else lurking the halls up there. This thing is called a creeper. The creeper is said to start off this dark, shadowy, full-body apparition of a human. It will then strangely drop to the floor on all fours. And then, this is the creepy part, I'm getting chills right now just telling you guys. It will either crawl towards people or crawl away from people. And I don't just mean like crawl, I mean crawl super fast, like the friggin' exorcist. It has been said to crawl at people, guys. Crawl! 
like if it was running that'd be kind of scary but you know yourself you watch the grudge you know what i'm talking about if something crawls at you like a little like kind of like some more morgan at the end of the ring too when she's climbing up the well and it's kind of like <laughs> kind of like almost insect like and it's super fast and Damn! This experience actually happened to a group of people, which understandably, they all fled from the building. Now, just to make it that one step creepier for y'all, people have reported seeing the creeper crawling on the ceiling! Crawling on the ceiling! How much creepier can that get? Okay, guys, one thing is for sure, I never want to see a creeper in my life. I don't care if it's on the ground crawling. I don't care if it's... I, I, I just don't want to see it anywhere. I don't want to see it. I'm done. Paranormal America is over. I'm done. I'm done. Sorry, guys, I just needed a couple minutes to cool down. That was just too much for me to handle. Now, this is without a doubt one of the creepiest stories I have done simply because of the creeper. Like, that thing just gives me the heebie-jeebies all over. My question to all of you, would you visit this place with me? I wouldn't let you guys go alone. I just wouldn't do it. I wouldn't let you guys, um, I, if we were to go there, I believe they do have ghost tours sometimes, and if they did... Um, I would definitely be down if you guys would come with me. I wouldn't go with one person. I wouldn't go with two people. I think I would have to go with at least five people in order to, for me to feel comfortable. So that is my question, guys. Would you visit this place with me? That is question of the day. Let me know in the comment section your answers. Magic 8 Ball. Is the creeper a real thing? You may rely on it. Okay, that is it for me. Nightmares tonight. No question about it. Now, also, you guys know I have started this thing called Random Fact of the Day, where I like to poison your heads with powerful knowledge so that y'all don't have to go to school anymore. And today's Random Fact of the Day is... Did you know that ancient Egyptians used to shave off their eyebrows to mourn the death of their cats? I don't really see the problem with that. I mean, when my cat dies, I'm going to shave everything off. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button down below, and let's see if we can go for 2 million likes on this video. I would really appreciate that. And to remember the most important thing, guys, chase your dreams. I love you guys. Crawling on the ceiling! Crawling on the ceiling!